Good morning. I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm joining you from Hawking State Forest near Conkles Hollow State Nature Preserve. And I'd like to introduce you to a very unusual tree. It's called Devil's Walking Stick Hercules Club, or its scientific name is Aurelia Spinosa. So all those names are a little bit intimidating, and we'll talk about why it gets those names here in a little bit. But let's start with the leaves. The leaves are amazingly Im impressive. Uh, the keys say they can be up to five feet in length. I commonly see them three feet or more in length, but rarely five. But what makes them very unusual is that they're bipinnately or even tripinnately compound. So like most compound leaf trees, it'll have a rachis. The rachis is the stem that the leaflets are attached to. With something that's bipinnately compound, that rachis actually branches and you'll have leaflets on those branches. This thing will branch again after that, so you'll often have three branches. And you're going to have dozens of leaflets. Leaflets can be fairly large. These are about two inches in length. They have a serrated or toothed margin. And so they're a very amazing large leaf. Um, the other thing I've noticed on these, the rachis, the main rachis especially, is purple in color, so it's really pretty. And occasionally, I'm not seeing it on these, you're going to actually have spines right on this rachis. So if you think about it, it's going to take a very stout twig to support this very large leaf. So when we look at this main stem, out here on the tip, it's almost a half inch or so in diameter. And in the winter months, it looks dead. You can actually pick these stems out from quite a distance because they're so large in diameter. Typically a single stem with very little branching. Uh, the, the twigs are light in color, but the easiest way to identify this are the spines. This thing is literally covered from top to bottom with spines. You've got to be really careful where you grab it, hence its name Devil's Walking Stick. Um, but it's covered with these little spines. They're very short. Most of these are less than, say, a third of an inch in length. They're around the base of where the leaf attaches, and they're all along the stem. So again, that's where it gets its name, Devil's Walking Stick or Hercules Club. The wood is very brittle. The twig is very light in color, and you're going to see little light-colored lenticels along the stem. It's not uncommon at all to see those uh, spines encircle the twig where the twig where the leaves were attached in the previous years. So that's the characteristic of the stem. These typically are small trees. I rarely see them over four or five inches in diameter. A lot of times they're in clumps or clusters like this because the root sprouters, and they like to take advantage of extra light conditions like along a road's edge or in a tree fall gap or after a recent harvest. You look up behind me up in the canopy of these, and this is why I brought you out here this time of year, they're in flower. It's actually the first part of August. They're covered with these big balls or clusters of white flowers. Flowers are actually pretty tiny and white, but the clusters can be 12 to 18 inches in diameter. They're going to be terminal, so they're right on the tip or the terminus of the twig. Um, amazing flower show right now, great pollinator plant. And then later in the growing season or towards fall, these flowers are going to mature and produce purplish berries. So those berries are, again are good for wildlife. It's another way to add a little diversity to your landscape with some uh, Aurelia spinosa or devil's walking stick. Can be fairly aggressive, and again, I mentioned it's a root sprouter. This species is not common in Ohio. It's typically found in the southern part of the state. I probably see more of it here in the Hawking Hills than about anywhere else in the state. So thank you so much for your time, and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.